a couple fun drills you can do to test whether when you move you rely on more muscle dominant effort or if you use more efficient coordination. There's a difference between mechanics as far as mechanical mechanics and biomechanics. You often hear that the most efficient path between two points is a straight line. But in biomechanics, that's not necessarily true. We're made up of curves. There are no straight lines in nature. Get a weighted ball that has some weight to it. So any med ball or a slam ball or something like that. Start on the ground in a seated position or on your knees. I would recommend starting on your knees. It's a bit easier than starting sitting right on your butt. You're gonna roll the ball onto your hand and figure out how to get it overhead as quickly as possible using the most efficient method possible. I'll show you two methods. That's method one. And that's method two. The first method is much easier because I'm using gravity more. I'm working with the way that my spine naturally rotates I'm creating space between my joints and letting all my joints work kind of harmoniously together to get the object overhead instead of just using brute force to lift it up and putting more stress on my body. This ball is not so heavy that I can't just use brute force to lift it up, but if it were something significantly heavier, you really wouldn't be able to muscle through it. And if you did, you would likely injure yourself, either strain your lower back or injure your shoulder or something like that. Here are a few variations of the drill I just did that you can practice. So it looks simple enough, but give it a try and see if the mobility of certain joints is a limitation, see if the coordination is a limitation, maybe strength is a limitation, but strength in a way that supports the weight and allows you to move naturally to take the weight overhead instead of strength that allows you to lift it using brute force like I was talking about before. So try it out and have some fun with it. And you can get more creative. It's nice to have an object that you can't firmly grip, that's larger and that's heavy. You have to have a sense of the weight of the object and you have to use gravity to hold it up, essentially is what you're doing, instead of letting it crush you. Here are a few fun variations that you can try playing with the ball.